is a robot designed to go through mazes. It's um, basically about four switches here, two motors, um, these LEDs, and lots of wires. Also a battery holder in the, in the bottom. My first thought is, how can this, all this stuff and metal turn into a robot? <laughs> I, I like all the challenges that they put, like how challenging it was and how I really learned how to make a circuit more than just from the textbooks. Well, it's pretty frustrating, but I guess as Carl says, it's part of, it's part of life in the world. I thought I would be the slowest person in the whole class. And then I kind of got faster and Will helped me a little because he's had some background in robotics. Um, I learned how when the touch sensors uh, touch, how it switches the way the current moves and makes it go backward. The electricity from the battery goes into the motors and when one of the switches gets hit, it reverses uh, which way the electricity flows through causing the motor to spin the opposite way causing this robot to turn. It's a little bit harder than it looks, but it's not as hard as like a walking, talking robot. <laughs> it's really fun to play with and stuff, and there's all sorts of modifications you can make. Uh, I saw the instructions for this robot, and I saw a couple ahead, and I didn't like the style that it was with these two LEDs having to get powered by a separate switch, so I decided to connect them on so every time it gets hit, it turns on. Uh, the Maze of Doom is just a lot of two by four set up in a giant maze that Speltbot has to know when it hits a wall to turn. When I show my brother the spout, um, he's probably gonna think it's the coolest thing in the world because he's gonna think it's amazing that I made a robot.